Welcome to the Peninsula Library System's new online catalog. Today's video will cover how to search using the basic search features of the catalog. To get started, visit catalog.plsinfo.org and select your library from the drop-down menu. You may use any of the libraries on this list. Today we'll use San Mateo County Library. Once you arrive on the new catalog, you can search from any page. There's always this search box at the top of the screen from which you can choose keyword, title, author, subject, list, tag, or user. This is an example of a tag search based on contributions from patrons across many libraries. A book to movie tag indicates that this movie was based on a book. Returning to the top of the screen, we can try a list search for bedtime. This will show any lists users have created with the word bedtime in the title. You can see just how many of these are available, and hopefully you'll find some great bedtime stories. Next, we'll do a search by username. If you know the username of another patron, you can look at everything that person has shared publicly, including their shelves, tags, ratings, reviews, and lists. You can even follow that person for updates when new stuff is shared. Most of the time, when you want to search the new catalog, you're going to search by keyword. We now employ a smart search that helps you narrow down your results more intuitively. A simple search for Spanish adult DVDs will return a list of items in DVD format for an adult audience and with audio or subtitles in Spanish. You can see check boxes on the left side of the screen and you are able to check or uncheck these boxes to expand any search or narrow it. These are called facets and will help you quickly turn a long list into a more manageable one. Let's try another example. Say we want to know what the libraries have for Batman. A basic keyword search brings up almost 500 results. That's too many to browse, but with all the options available to narrow your search down, you can have a manageable list in seconds. I know I want Batman graphic novels. In this case, I want them for teenagers, and I'm going to be looking for them in my local library. In this case, we'll choose Milbrae. Now, with just a few clicks, I've got a much more manageable list. So now I've found something I want in the catalog. Great! Now how do I go from the screen to find the actual book so I can start reading? The results page shows a link to availability details for every item. I can click the link for a pop-up that shows which branches have what I want on the shelf and which libraries own the item but don't have it available are shown below. If you're like me, you may want some more information about an item before heading off to pick it up. To see the details, click on the title from your search results and you'll see a page with some great new details. The left column shows your availability information, while the right column has subjects, tags, and lists to help you find similar items, as well as a new Browse the Shelf option to see what's actually sitting next to this book at any particular library. The middle column has options for what you can do with the book, such as place it on hold, add it to a list, or review it. And below this, you'll see tabs to get the full information, such as the number of pages, publication year, and other details. Still further down, you'll find user comments, favorite quotations, and maybe even some video trailers. There's lots to discover in searching the new catalog. Our best advice is to start simple and narrow things down as you go. And of course, Ask your library staff for help if you have any trouble.